today I'm going to be working on my 67 RSSS and what I want to do is I'm going to put the new gas tank in and the new exhaust system which I have laid out here on the floor and the car came with somebody had set up these glass pack mufflers and you know just a temporary thing I guess to get the car running which my guess is they never did get it running because I just got finished putting in all the new brand new wire harnesses from the firewall forward so I've got that all done now and I'll show you that here in a minute but today I'm going to take all of this exhaust system apart and then I'm going to take off these traction bars and remove all of the existing exhaust system which is all rusty and crusty that muffler is special get rid of that and this is the original gas tank but I'm, I am going to replace that because the gas is really varnished inside I may have it uh, cleaned out but for now just to get the car running I'm going to put the new tank on there and then flush out the uh, fuel lines which actually yeah here are the fuel lines here so you know I'm not sure what to expect on those but anyway uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started here and let the camera roll So at this point in the video, I wanted to uh, go through some of the parts that I had ordered from uh, Heartbeat City because I ran into a little snag on the exhaust system. So that's going to have to be uh, featured later on. But um, I'd, uh, I had got ordered all brand new electrical uh, parts and wiring harnesses and so on for the engine compartment. And to start off, here's the, uh, here are the relays for the uh, Rally Sport uh, along with the, uh, you know, it's all in one uh, package there for the uh, headlight doors and the uh, breaker switch and so on. So um, I wanted to go through some of these pieces that I had ordered. Um, I had ordered all brand new uh, electrical components and so on for the whole Rally Sport uh, headlight system uh, because the ones that were on the car were all really old and rusty and crusty and so on and like like for instance these are the uh, the switches the the uh, control switches for the headlight doors that stop them you know when they're all the way open and all the way closed and then uh, Anyway, I'm just going to kind of go through all of these things here. It's a couple of the battery uh, cables. Not sure which battery cable that was, but then here's the other one. I think this might be the uh, positive cable. And these are all assembly line correct uh, wire harnesses and cables and switches and all that. Mainly, I had to order the main heart, the main uh, front 
light harness, which is what this is here. And it basically it goes from the firewall all the way to uh, the headlights. And also the engine uh, wire harness, which I had shown there before. A lot of little little odds and ends like these are the uh, heater hose clamps again all the assembly line correct I only ordered the assembly line correct stuff here are the heater hoses and the ones from the factory had the ribs on the hose itself and uh, these reproductions are really done well. They've got the uh, original ribbing on there and everything. And later in the video, you'll see that I have all this stuff installed already uh, once I get the car started. But I just wanted to open up these harnesses and show you because they're really, really nice. Very well done. And when I compare them to the original harness that came out of the car, it, it really is done to perfection. All the colors are correct. All the connections are correct, really dead on correct. So I'm pretty impressed. And all my restorations, I put new wire harnesses especially in the new engine compartment and so on. Now, on my 69 Z28, every wire in the car will be brand new. But in this car, pretty much all the dash wiring and the light wiring, the taillight wiring and all that are in pretty good uh, working condition. So I'll probably leave those alone. But the engine and the lighting, the front light harness and so on, is probably the most important one. And uh, I just don't like to compromise on the wire harnesses. When you see that they're all cut up and spliced together and stuff like that, you're just asking for trouble. And all my restorate, my motorcycle restorations and everything, I put brand new wire harnesses. There's just nothing like a brand new wire harness. You can see all the connectors, all the the coloring, the labeling, everything is done to perfection, really. And then here is the engine wire harness that goes from the firewall to the wiper uh, motor and then to the distributor and coil and then over to the uh, to the battery. So this next segment of the video is going to show me installing these two wire harnesses in the engine compartment and I had to speed it up a little bit because it took me two or three hours to get everything connected properly so I'm going to let the video run here in a fast motion and then we'll move on to the next thing it's only about 30 seconds or so this point I'm getting ready to 
uh, turn the engine over for the first time after everything is connected to see if uh, if I have gas coming up through the line. So as you can see here, it came up very, uh, very quickly and uh, gas is clean. Here I'm adding uh, a mixture of antifreeze and distilled water for the very first time. And uh, the next scene here is we'll, I'll be starting it for the very first time in probably 20 years. So as you just saw, I finally got the 67 RSSS running. And basically what I did was I replaced, as you saw in a previous video, unpacking the brand new engine wire harness and the lighting wire harness. And I have everything hooked up here. And I realized that that voltage regulator is not the correct one, but I will replace that at some point, but I just wanted to get the car running. So, uh, and I know that these hose clamps aren't the correct ones either, but I just want to get the car running so I can decide whether or not I'm going to do a full restoration on this car or sell it as is. So uh, I will let you guys know if I do put it up for sale. But anyway, it's got a brand new lighting wire harness and I'm waiting for all of the um, new headlight doors, the headlight motors, and all of that to hook up as soon as I receive those uh, here in a few days. So I've got a brand new battery in there, which again is just a battery to a brand new battery to get the car running. Um, and all the hose clamps and everything are not the correct ones, but again, you know, just to get the car running. So the, I'm waiting for the thermostat to open for the rest of this antifreeze to go down. Um, but the car started and idled and just runs very smooth and beautiful. So I'm really happy about that. And even the clock started working for a few seconds. So um, I think as things start loosening up, everything's gonna pretty much work so um, there are a lot of things on the dash that don't work but I think it's a matter of just kind of going through and fixing each and in, each individual thing but uh, you'll see how easy it starts here
So one of the reasons that it's so loud is because the exhaust system is basically just comes down off of the exhaust manifolds into a couple of like thrush mufflers. So um, I have a complete new exhaust system over here that uh, I'm going to be installing next and that'll get the car sounding a lot better than it does now. But in a previous video I started to put the new gas tank in And there's that. And I took those crappy old traction bars off and so the bottom of the car is in pretty good pretty good shape right now. So um, anyway I will continue getting this thing running and everything working and uh, go from there. I realize I have to put the air cleaner element in there, but I don't have it with me right now. So I'm just putting the air cleaner on right now to see how it runs with it on there. So let's see. Runs great. So uh, I noticed all the gauges work. The um, the temp gauge, the gas gauge. Of course, the gas tank's brand new and it has a brand new sending unit. Uh, and I have all brand new gas lines and all that. The line from the tank to the to the uh, fuel pump is the original, but apparently it's clean because the fuel filter is clean. And so all the gauges work. The clock works intermittently, but the temp gauge, the gas gauge, the alt, alt meter, and uh, like I said, the clock works intermittently. The tack works great. Um, so now I'm just going to kind of go through and get all the lights working and and uh, all the other systems, and then I will then put the exhaust system on. So uh, that'll probably be in the next video. So uh, right now, this will be the end of this video, and I will continue working on this car. And then I just got word today that all the, uh, all the nuts and bolts and washers are ready to pick up for the, for the CBXs at the platers, so I can get back on those two bikes and uh, finish them up. 
So uh, that'll probably be on the next video here very soon. And uh, as usual, thank you so much for watching. And uh, please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps this channel. And uh, hit the bell for, for uh, post notifications for future videos. So as usual, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.